Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meet Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate average rate of return, also known as ARR, under the chapter project selection under the subject project management. Again, this is a very important topic for all the TYBMS SEM6 students. Okay, so now let us see how to solve the sum based on average rate of return. We will first go through the formulas and some rules and thereafter we will be taking up one sum in order to see how to solve this particular sum. Okay, let us see how to solve problem sum based on ARR. First, okay, now first let us see what is the basic meaning of ARR. ARR means the average annual earning on the project. Under this method, uh, the profit after tax and depreciation is considered. So that's a very important one. We have to consider PAT PAT. The average rate of return can be calculated with the help of the following formula. ARR on average investment is equal to average profit after tax upon average investment in 200. This is the one formula which we need to remember. Now, in order to get the value of numerator and denominator, we have two different formulas. So for the numerator, that is average profit after tax. The formula is total profit upon number of years and in order to calculate average investment the formula is original investment minus scrap value divided by 2 plus working capital plus scrap value. So these are the two formulas which we need to first calculate and then whatever answer we get we need to substitute in our main formula. Okay, so I want everyone to see that you will note down this particular formula because it's very important in order to solve the sum based on ARR. Okay, once all have done that, now let us see how to solve the sum based on ARR. Okay, the question is given us, calculate ARR from the following information. They have given you cost of investment, then they have given you profit after tax for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years. And they have given us that the estimated life is 5 years and the scrap value is 20,000. Now let us see how we solve this. Okay, so first thing we need to calculate the table. In table, we'll just have years and we'll have to take all the profit after tax. So we have five years, one, two, three, four, five. We need to note down all the profit after tax. So we have 30,000, 50,000, 70,000, 90,000, and 1 lakh 10. And the next thing is we need to find the total of PAT. So if we add up all the values of PAT and we get our total value, which is 3,50,000. That is step number one. We need to get the total profit after tax the value. Now next, we need to first find average profit after tax because as a numerator in our main formula, the formula is total PAT upon number of years. We have already found total PAT which is 3,50,000. Uh, number of years are 5. So it will be 3,50,000 divided by 5 which comes to 70,000 rupees. So our average PAT is 70,000. Next, we need to find average investment. Formula is original investment minus scrap value divided by 2 plus working capital plus scrap value. The original investment is 5 lakh 20,000 that's the cost of investment. Scrap value is 20,000 there is no working capital given in the sum. So when you substitute this is how it should look 5 lakh 20 minus 20 upon 2 whatever answer you will get plus 0 plus 20,000 that is the scrap value. Okay so once you minus divide and you add the value that you all should get is 2,70,000 rupees that's the average investment. We found the average part we found the average investment now we directly apply to the final formula that is ARR ka formula. ARR is nothing but average part divided by average investment into 100. So that will be 70,000 upon 2,70,000 into 100 a final value should be 25.926 percent this is how you have to solve the sum based on ARR very simple topic you just have to take the average profit after tax average investment divide into 100 that's your ARR okay I hope everyone have understood you just need to note down those formulas and keep it and then just substitute into the values and you will get your final answer so with that we were able to solve uh, one sum based on ARR. I hope everyone have understood it. With that we will be ending this video here. Thank you.